guys, Kid Polish here. Okay, so first off, I'm just gonna start out. I'm um, sorry guys for not making a video anytime soon. I've just been way too busy with the Cinema 4D thing. And, um, yeah, school has been bugging the hell out of me. Okay, so, um, I'm just gonna take a break from Minecraft for a while. Uh, because it's just getting really boring and just, yeah, I don't like making videos about Minecraft. So I'm switching to Cinema 4D. And, um, today I'm just going to be showing you how to pretty much make this text. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I added some ambient occlusion over here, some, uh, some flurry. It looks really cool. Okay, so let's just get started. For this video, we're just going to need the plugin Thorowsi. It's a free plugin. A guy named Intro, no, Nitro 4D makes it. A really cool guy. I suggest checking out his website. I'll just leave a link in the description. Okay, so pretty much, let's just get started, okay. So for this video, I'm just going to delete everything here, as you see here, boom, deleted. It's going to start fresh and clean. Okay, so first off, you're just going to need to go into your render settings, change the output to 1280, and then the height to 720, so that you just get like a full screen. Okay, so um, here we go. Okay, so first off, we're just gonna need to um, put in mo text. Just gonna zoom out real quick. Okay, so well, since my real name's Axel, so I'm just gonna put Axel. Like so, you start off with the basic boring text. So then, um, my favorite one, where is it? Uh, Batman Forever. It's pretty much my favorite text I've ever used. I used it. I use it for most of my projects. I recommend it. I'll also leave a link to the um, website where I got this font. Okay, so first off, we're going to need to change the depth to 65. Like so. Oh, no, that's a bit too much. I want 50. Because I really don't like really deep depth. Okay, so then um, first off, you're going to want to put some fillet caps. It just gives like a bolder and cooler look. Like so. And since the caps uh, fatten it up, I'm just going to put the horizontal spacing up a little bit. Okay, there we go. And next up is the color C. So I already have a bunch of colors here. You can make your own by just right-clicking or just pressing create new material. But, I'll, but since I already have my materials, I'm just going to put a really, 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 I'm just going to put a really bright blue. Oh, oops, here it is. Really bright. A very bright, but I really like it a lot. Then just like a shiny black. It's pretty cool. Yeah, like so. See? It's pretty shining. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna put like that. Zoom out a little bit. And then with this selected, with the Motec selected, we go on plugins, Throwsy, Throwsy. And then I usually like to put 65 pieces. I wouldn't mess with anything else here because it just might screw you up pretty bad. So next, you're just gonna quickly press break now. And now just wait. Depending on how fast your computer is, um, depends on how long it takes for it to break. But my computer's not that fast. Oh God. Okay, whatever. So here we go. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking it. And uh, my thing doesn't really look that good, but lots to do. Not this recording thing. Um, the, I use quick name planner, which you can see like right here. I hate it. Well, it's the best that I have right now on my computer, but it lags out the computer. I record, okay. Uh, slow. Okay, so when you're done with that, you're gonna exit out. See? So that's pretty much cracked, except we're not done yet. Um, you see these X's right here? All you have to do is just click on the X's and they'll just turn to check marks. Pretty simple, pretty simple shit. Okay, so then what you're gonna want to do is go on MoGraph, Effector, and then Random. Okay, once you go press the random thing, you'll just see a big mess of chunks. It's pretty ugly, but don't worry. You're supposed to look at that. And then you see uh, here at the bottom, you should automatically get a uh, um, the Effector thing lit up, and then Strength. It's gonna want to like switch down the Strength to your liking. I usually keep it at, like around. Five, yeah, yeah, five looks pretty cool. Then I'm just gonna quickly render it up, see how it looks like. Oh god, it's slow. I think it has a pretty good look to it. You know what, I'm just gonna 
lift up the shrink a bit more. There we go. And next, all you're going to want to do is make a floor, a sky. I wouldn't really recommend any lights. Lights just piss me off. There we go. Shiny, shiny. Now, I usually like bright colors. If you want, you can just like put some dark colors. Boom. It'll look pretty weird. I really don't. I'm not a big fan of dark colors. That's why I usually use um really bright colors. Okay, and before we make things straight, uh, we're just gonna go on. Render settings, effect. Where is it? Oh, oops, I already have it set up. Ambient occlusion. Um, if you don't have it selected, it should be right above the caustics. Yeah, caustics. It's the first one since it begins with A. Just check it, and then just like move around, move it to your liking, move it around, zoom out, just zoom out like. Now, whatever you guys want to do, it's up to you. It's your choice. And then just press the render button. Now we wait. <laughs> Pissed me off so slow. But as you can see, it, it's loading already, and it's got that really cool, um, darkish bluish color. Oh god, it's slow. And also, you can see the shadows, shadowings. It's like a grayish color. Very beautiful. You know what? Uh, sorry guys, it's gonna zoom in. I really like to zoom stuff zoomed in like a bit crooked. Yeah. And now you wait. Okay. Okay, and while this is loading and rendering, um guys just please make sure to just check out my other videos. I've got tech -it videos, Minecraft videos, fail videos. Yeah, I got a bunch of cool stuff. Okay, just check out, check it out, and please drop a like for this video, like the shit out of it, subscribe. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, just check out my other videos. Okay, this looks like it's about to finish rendering. Yeah, and you can see the glossy gray color, the thing that I used. The later the color, the better it looks. Well, in my opinion. Except like when you render it, it'll look really cool. The the light blue will turn to like a greenish bluish. It's really cool. Beautiful. Yeah, guys. So pretty much there you have it. It's really cool text. And then yeah. So guys, thanks for watching. Bye.